Hey brother, hello and welcome back to another exciting episode of Peaches McLean plays Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. Today I have moved my office so things might take sound a little bit different. I don't know how this is going to work out but we're going to try it out. I have moved from downstairs to upstairs and I've noticed already that my dog likes to run back and forth between downstairs and upstairs as fast as she can so if we hear my dog that's what that is and i just i thank you for your patience i was told never to apologize other one a word if i may there are many rumors about your most recent meeting with the jedi council there was talk that they are sending you on a mission to help us against malik and the sith yes uh, my discussions with the council are literally none of your business. Please understand that I am not asking you to reveal anything that could endanger the order of the Republic. Whatever task the council has given you is for your ears, not mine. I only wanted to wish you well and to warn you to be careful. There are many evils out there, many dangers. The Sith are not the only minions of the dark side. I can look after myself. Yes, your skill and prowess are already well known throughout this academy, but even you would be wise to heed my warnings. Master Dora has been training me to succeed him as chronicler here in the academy. In my studies, I have come across tales of creatures that are born of the dark side, monsters of pure evil. The worst of these abominations is the Terran Tatan. A beast which feeds on the blood of those who are strong in the force. Over the centuries, many Jedi have fallen to the ravenous hunger. Uh, I, it's hard to believe an animal could pose a threat to a Jedi. The Terran Tactic is a predator, and we Jedi are its prey. They are incredibly strong, primal cunning, and they are inborn resistance to the force. Fortunately, they are quite rare. They only dwell in the most dangerous and darkest of places. In fact, one has not been seen in nearly 40 years. So why why are we worried about them now? This is not the first time the Terran Tactics have vanished for long periods of time. Many believe they can lay dormant for years only to rise and hunt when the power of the dark side waxes full. I fear Malak's rise may have woken these creatures from their dormant state. Once the Sith are beaten, I would not be surprised. Ooh! If the Council organizes another great hunt to try and exterminate them. Thanks for the warning, bro. I'll be careful. I'll find a warning as you go, Padawan. Do not underestimate the Terran Tete. If you do, you may suffer the same fate as those who disappeared after the great hunt. Man! That was some, like... Mad foreshadowing that I do not remember at all. Like, I tell you what, that dude was telling me to worry about something, and I have no idea. I understand congratulations are in order. You've decided to join the Jedi rank and file, Jedi Peaches McLean. Another fresh-faced apprentice, ready to keep in, leap into Jedi training with both feet. Well, best of luck to you is all I can say about that. It's always good to see the uh, fight against darkness and corruption. If there were more people like you around, an honest businessman could make a decent, decent living. And companies like that damn Zerka Corp wouldn't exist. But listen to me. You didn't come here to listen to my ramblings of the evil. Zerka Corp, I'll bet. What can I do for you? Let me see what you've got for sale. I really don't care about you, Brigham, bro. My selection is somewhat limited. Zerka Corp has monopoly on some of the suppliers. But I'm sure you'll find all my in inventory is of the highest quality. And I've got a few special items you won't find anywhere else. Yeah. Do you have any special items? Sanasaki's blade? Um, it doesn't look like you really do have that many. Stealth plus eight? Whoa! Whoa! You can get a breath mask. And some infiltrator gloves. An Arcanian energy shield. You got some cool stuff. Calrissians. Well, look at that. That does seem useful. 
Look at that. It does computer use plus three, demolitions plus three, player plus three, security plus three. Dang. Oh, and you got some Pazic cards, Bazak. Um, let's see, what can I get rid of? What do we not use? Oh, I'm so nervous to get rid of these. Um, I can definitely sell these. I can go ahead and sell this and this and this. And this. I'm keeping my lightsaber though. No, I don't need yellow lightsaber crystals at all. I don't need this blaster pistol. Uh, I don't know, it's tough for me to ever justify selling things in this game because you have like unlimited inventory. Let me see what you got in stock. Nothing I want. I'm sorry, Lyra. I am unable to render assistance at this time. I think we're ready to go ahead oh. and leave Dantooine. I know that there was that family feud we could have taken care of, and it ends up being this like moderately interesting. How can I help? Uh, it was less of a dream and more of a vision. A vision the two of us shared. But I am certainly willing to answer any questions the Jedi Council did not. Uh, do you think we will receive more of these visions? With luck, we will. I would rather not rely on such visions to guide us. But when we have so little else to go on, and the galaxy hangs in the balance. Um, uh, I'm not sure I like the idea of you being in my and dreams. Are you so certain that it is not you in my dreams? Yep. I see. That is most likely vanity speaking, for I am not certain myself. Regardless, our fates are linked. The vision was no doubt meant for us both. Why do we dream of Malak and Revan? Perhaps because we desired to. Perhaps because they came to this planet and were strong enough in the Force to leave a, a trace. What do you mean by a trace? They did something important here. Of that, I am certain. Maybe simply that we are sensitive to that event, or it may not. We dreamed about Revan and Malak either because we were meant to or because we needed to. There is no other way to look at it. Alright, uh, well that's all I wanted to know. As you wish. You really should return our thoughts to business anyway. Yeah, what is this being at work and doing fun yeah, stuff? I'm here. Well, if I know anything about work, it's that like you're never supposed to have fun at work. What? Um, that's a lie. You should enjoy your job. I enjoy my job. And I enjoy this. This is fun. I'm all by myself. I got Candorous right here. I don't know what planet to go to first. There's so many options. I feel I must apologize for the way I acted towards you before in the Grove. It was wrong of me. Yeah, damn right apologize. I am sorry for attacking you. I am sorry for thinking you would only try to kill me. I hope that by helping you in your task, I may redeem myself in your eyes and in my own. Mm, it's unlikely. You mock me. I will do what it takes to redeem myself in the eyes of my peers. I will succeed. I will prove myself to you and to everyone. I will be a faithful companion to you and Bastila as long as our journey may last. Neat. All right, all right. Well, where to first, Cartho Nasty? Oh, you're not this way. This ship is very confusing. I can never find the cockpit. It's just, you know, it's a weird place. But we do got all of our buddies, and we've got our little Millennium Falcon discount. All right. So where do we want to go? We're currently on Dantooine. We can go to Manan, we can go to Tatooine, we can go to Korriban, we can go to Kashyyyk, we can go to Yavin. Um, I don't want to go to Kashyyyk. Oh, but there's so many Wookiees, that's going to hurt my voice a whole lot. Maybe I want to avoid that. 
Um, also, whoever told me that Camino was the planet with the clones, oh my gosh. Oh my god, it was like my whole world exploded. How could I have forgotten that? Oh my god. That is crazy. I can, yeah, I was like, are you kidding? How did I not know that? You know what? Death to my voice. We're going to Kashik. We have no Wookiees. Somebody told me I should do the Wookiees like whales, and I thought that was hilarious. So that's what I've been doing. I'm also praying, praying that we don't get attacked by the bad guys again. Because last time, it was really embarrassing. No, no! What a shot. Great angle. Manic, the Star Forge is operating at 200% capacity, far beyond our expectations. I am more interested in the young Jedi Bastila and her battle meditation. Have you learned how she escaped the destruction of Taris? She was aided by Karth Onasi, a decorated war hero. No, of the she was aided by me. Soldier. During the Mandalore Wars, he was honored many times for his bravery. You know this man? Yes, Lord Malak. He served under me when I still followed the Republic. You could say I was his mentor. Interesting. How did you acquire this information, Admiral? An eyewitness, Lord Malak. Kalo Nord, a bounty hunter, was there when Bastila and Karth escaped the planet. Apparently, they left him for dead. A Jedi and a war hero. It's a wonder you survived the encounter. I am hard to kill, Lord Malak. Kalo has agreed to help us capture the young Bastila for a very hefty fee, of course. But I assure you, he is well worth the price. His reputation as a bounty hunter is well earned. Her companions are nothing to me, Kalo. But I desire the young Jedi taken alive, if at all possible. Lord Malak, forgive me, there is something else. May we have a private audience away from the ears of the common soldiers? I trust you are not wasting my time, Admiral Karath. I promise you will be very interested in what Kalo has to tell you about Bastila's other companions, Lord Malak. Oh, -ho! Ooh, another dream. Here we go. Here we go. We're really good at laying in bed. And by good, I don't mean bad at it. We roll around a lot. Maybe if Karth was a better pilot. Oh, look. Another Star Forge map. Not an HD cutscene. Everybody knows I'm a huge fan of a good HD cutscene. Uh, it looked like the star map was on the forest floor. The Wookiees of Kashek make their home high among the Rosha branches. Only their bravest warriors dare to descend into the forbidding depths of the forest. If the star map is located far beneath us on the planet's surface, as our vision seems to suggest, it's unlikely the Wookiees even know of its existence. No doubt things will become more clear once we discover the star map's location. All right. Here we are. We're going to... 
Eyes wise, checking eyes and plies in the cargo hold. Something's all right. All right, what do you mean? Somebody's been in the emergency stash of food. Mission and I asked everyone, but nobody knows anything about it. You might want to check out the food stores next time you're in the cargo hold, man. All right. I think I know what we want to do for Salbar's boy, boys. I think I've got it figured out. Uh, because we are on the Wookiee planet, we're going to take Zalbar, and because uh, we haven't used her at all, we are going to take uh, Juhani. Now, I know that this does mean that we have an all-offensive uh, sword-bearing team with us right now, but that is okay. There are worse things that could happen. I do not think Juhani has red lightsabers. Maybe she does. But maybe she switched back. I don't know. We'll find out in just a second. Um. Greetings to you. Uh, well, I am pleased to welcome you to planet G5623. I do not see your ship on my docking schedule. The Saga Corporation will see to your needs, of course. But there will be a hundred credit docking fee in advance, I fear. Uh, don't make me... Oh, yeah! Don't make demands. I'm Peaches McLean and I'll land wherever I want. I respect your obvious determination, but I can't allow you to remain unless you pay the proper fees. The Zerka Corporation appreciates your cooperation and hopes this matter will not dissolve into a violent matter. Ah, uh, it's easily settled. I'll pay with your blood. We, we, we are unarmed here. We have many guards and security doors. If we can control the bookings, we can control you. Zerka Corporation protects its interests. If you won't pay, you won't be granted access to the planet and are free to leave. I will wait here if you change your mind. Oh man. You gotta return. That's not cool. Stupid. Well, that was a dumb move. I was trying to get some dark side points. It didn't work. Alright, so like I said, Johnny and Salvar. <laughs> I agree to again. Will you accept the terms of the landing of this outpost? You're quite far from any sewers. Hunter Dog and V, yeah. Alright. Uh, what do I get? Why do I need to pay the docking fee? This outpost is remote and expensive to maintain. The 100 credits given will ensure that it remains here. For your use, of course. Upon collection of the correct fees, I will extend what resources the Circuit Corporation can offer. I'm sure you understand very well. Paid a hundred credits. You are welcome, Don Edian. Trade designation G5623. Circuit Corporation welcomes your business. We should discuss your interests in my office. I see you have a rookie with you. Can I assume you understand the language? Or a fee, Zerka Corporation can provide a translator doing your business. Uh, yeah, no, I understand more than you know. Yeah, very well, it is no concern of mine. I simply assume you are one of the rare sort that take the languages easily. Now then, please follow me to our information center. I will answer any further questions there. Hey, hey, time to level up my teammates before I follow you to your information center. All right, you get strength, Zalbar, as always. And what do I have you doing? Computer use, it looks like. Fine with me. Accept. Implant level 3. Sounds good. Let's level you up, man. You get more skills. I can rock that computer use, man. Uh, you need power strike. Power attack? Yeah, that's what you need. Add feet. Boom, we got it. Alright, you are now caught up in level. Now, Juhani... Skills, what do we got for you? You look like you've got some awareness and some treat injury. That's what we're going to go ahead and give you then. Uh, I think you use one weapon fighting. We're going to go ahead and add a feat for your lightsaber use. And then uh, you are part of my light side team, so you will be curing the team. You will be taking Bastila's place as a uh, go-to curer. Um, let's see. I 
think. Uh, wisdom is important for you? I don't really know. I would just do strength. Because you know how I don't like one dimension. Uh, you know how I don't like multi dimensional characters. But, you know, we're trying things out with you. Uh, you have dark side powers, which is a little frustrating because you are a light side character. Um, but we're going to go ahead and add four shield and accept. And keep leveling you up, man. You, you just go right on. Uh, you are a single weapon fighter. Add you a feat for uh, that. Um, we can add a power for stasis. I don't know what that is. So now we got Juhani. Uh, she does not have. I think what is what color is this? Is that blue? Is that purple? I can't tell. I know. I'm, So Jahani has blue. And that's okay though. You know, like there are worse fates. Just I mean there are a few worse fates. Somebody did ask if the red lightsaber actually does anything different. No, it doesn't. It just looks cool. Um, mine have been one of mine at least has been upgraded to be like better than your average lightsaber. Uh, but it really doesn't like matter at all. Desert, my home. I should have prepared you for coming here, but I didn't know if I prepared myself. Prepared me? What do you mean? I didn't leave Kashi voluntarily. Mission must have told you I was fleeing slavers. But there was more. I'm an exile, man. The slavers on Kashi only took me after I was forced to leave my village home. 20 years ago. Wait, why were you forced to leave? My brother made deals with the slavers and allowed them to get a foothold. I found out and attacked him, man! The fight was stopped, my father did not believe me when I told him about my brother's actions. I was made in exile, disowned by my home and people. I should not be here, they will not accept me back. Uh, time has passed, man, things will have changed. The slavers are still here, man, this dock is theirs. I doubt anyone has risen to try and fight, nothing has changed at all, man! I just hope I can prove myself to my people. It'll be difficult to make them listen. I just don't know, man. Uh, why didn't your father believe you? When I attacked my brother, I was so mad I used my claws. You don't understand what that means to a Wookiee, man. We don't use our claws, man. Our claws are tools, not weapons. We use them in battles to become an animal. It's madness without honor. I'm forever a mad claw in the eyes of my people. Nothing I say is to be trusted. They were right to cast me out. Uh, We'll deal with that if we have to. We'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Let's go, man. On and ever upward. I don't have much hope. Oh, yeah. Oh, I definitely like this one. This is definitely the way we want to go with the Wookiee situation. This is going to be a fun one. I'm excited. Matt and Diesel. Something I can get for you? Kindly direct your inquiries to me. Matter is merely an indebted employee. His opinions don't amount to much. Okie dokie. So, Eli Gann. new spaces have come to Wild Kashik. Please, look well upon the wares of Eli Gand. I live to serve your needs. Just be sure to pay cash. The interest on his loans will drain you like a diluvian fat worm on a hut's backside. Oh man, I know what you mean by that. All backside. Secondly... I don't much like the comparison. No need to get personal. It's just business. Poor fellow. He's been waiting for his friends to return with my money for a standard month now. Ah, uh, but you don't need to hear this. What can I get you? Uh, I'm Peaches McLean. Let me see what you carry. Of course. You're in a hurry. Reinforced fiber armor. Sounds like something good for mission. Uh, but we're not really seeing anything. Hold on, hold on. That's pretty cool. Everybody's got such expensive gear, bro. Just, just sell stuff for cheaper. You know what I'm saying? Like, it doesn't have to be so expensive. You could just make things cheap. You know what I'm saying? 
Like, I don't think they know. Um, I want to buy some med packs from you. Other than that, I think we're good. I think you better talk. Well, it looks like there's not much I can do, but that was a journal entry, so I feel like I ought to be able to help in some way. It's in these crates. Parts! You know what parts means? Parts means droids. Welcome to Adia. I trust you will find our facilities pass inspection. Zerka Corporation is very efficient. You have nothing to be proud of, fool. I'm sorry, I don't understand Wookiee speak. Shiri Wook, I think it's called. What did the Wookiee say? Uh, he wants to rip your legs off and beat you with them. I didn't say that. See, he's furious. I'm barely control. What are you doing, man? Stop this. I don't have anything to do with what happens on this planet. I'm just a glorified lab technician. What was that about, man? I don't like being used for your amusement. Don't question me. Remember your life debt. I, I remember. Oh, man. I was just mean to Zalbar for no reason. Okay. Alright, Janos Worka. Greetings again. How can the corporation serve you during a visit to Edian? I need supplies. What's available? I would suggest you speak with the general vendor near the docking area. He keeps his store well stocked. They charge fair value for mundane goods and armor. And if it is weapons you want, you will need to deal with the Serga representative. That would be me. If you're here to purchase local species, however, you must wait for a licensed Zerka Corporation trader to return deliveries outside the system. Uh, purchase local species? What do you mean? He means that they're slavers, man. They take my people from their homes and sell them to the highest bidder. Your current worky seems displeased with the situation, but I fail to see a concern. You seem to be a satisfied customer. Uh, Zalbar's no slave. He's pledged a life debt to me. Ah, very difficult thing to stage. I commend you for it. So much easier than relying on restraining collars. Do not demean the life debt, man! Do not! I must warn you that you will be blamed for the actions of your Wookiee. Please, call him off. Why? I should let him kill the lot of you. I am merely a servant of the corporation. The Wookiee leadership is in agreement. Harvesting is made as delicate as possible. You wish to tell us more about this agreement with the Wookiee leadership? I can tell you about the agreement. We supply arms in exchange for a supply of healthier Wookiees. We are kept profitable and agreeable. And an agreeable leader is kept in power. It keeps the process from becoming a constant firefight. What's the leader? The leader's name is Chunda. I don't deal directly with him. Thank goodness. Far too British. That was, my, that was not a name I wanted to hear, man. That was a bad idea. You shouldn't have said that one. Sounds as though your thrall has an opinion about our arrangement with this leader. But it doesn't matter. Chunda is unquestioned. What about it, Zalbar? What's the matter? You're not something I want to talk about, man. Not something I want to talk about yet, anyway. Whoa! Please, is there anything else? I have work to do. I'm through with speaking with you for now. Very good. Feel free to inspect our operation here, but I would advise against going too far from the main landing area. The planet is still very much untamed, and we do not send out patrols for lost tourists. Huh. Well... What, is that a dead Wookiee just chilling? That's weird, man. I do my job and keep my mouth shut. Maybe I can do some good if I stay out of people's way. Yeah, man. Maybe you can do some good if you stay out of my way. Uh, let me see if that other dude had parts. Because if he does, I want them. I never get valued until you can't. Huh. All right. Do you always enslave your debtors? Enslave? I resent that. 
simply fair business. This man's fellows left without settling their debts, so he must make up the difference. I know, I know, it's standard trading rules. I just want to know where my crew went. I was only gone for two days. This isn't like them. Yes, very sad that they would abandon you, especially while you were doing me a favor and helping repair one of my freighters. You think you know someone and they turn out to be a cheat. Oh, not like you, Matt. You honor your deals. A word is a bond in trade. Do you debtors have a habit of running off? Uh, it happens from time to time. Credits are scarce out here, and not everyone is as honest as Mr. Daisel here. You'll get your money. My crew will be back. Of course they will. Until then, however, I can make use of you as a mechanic. Very rare to find skills of your kind out here. How much debt buys a man's life? Oh, it isn't about the amount. After all, as a skilled mechanic, Matton is worth much more than what is owed, especially on this remote planet. Oh, you flatter me, Eli. I guess we're best buddies now. <clears throat> as I was saying, it's a matter of principle. I'm nothing if not honest in my dealings, and I demand the same. He'll be free to go when his friends turn up and the debt is paid. I honor my deals. Let no one say otherwise. I want to go back to my other questions. Of course. I'm here to serve. Let me know what you care. Of course. Okay, I was correct in assuming that they do not have uh, what I want. We are going to go ahead and sell this item. And I think this is Chani Light Armor. Uh, and a couple of these extra crystals. Yeah. Yeah, okay. So he doesn't have part. Ooh, Johanna seems tense and wary in her presence. Perhaps you can make her feel more welcome by talking with her. Well, let's How speak to Johanna then. To you, wow, I was wondering if we could talk. What is it you would like to speak to me about? How did you come to be a Jedi? How I came to be a Jedi? I am sure you would not find it very interesting. Are you sure you would like to hear? Yes, please continue. Well, it goes back a number of years. Back on my home world, we did not see Jedi very often, especially where I lived. And where did you live? Behind the end of space. A pit of a world, to be sure. Where Jedi rarely tread. But we Russia? had heard of them. Well, everyone had. So that is not to be unexpected. Champions of truth. Defenders of justice. Heroes of the Republic. It well, was very that's me. for a child to be enthralled by their image. Their mystique. Maybe I was one of those children. Uh, did you meet a Jedi? Yes. Yes, I did. When I saw a Jedi for the first time, they lived up to everything my imagination had created them to be. I was old, and maybe a little enamored. That's not what it says you said. Imagination can be a dangerous thing. From that moment on, I knew that I would have to try you to become a Jedi. You ignored what I said entirely. To lift myself out of the rut I had been living in for years, and to make a real difference as the Jedi wore. <laughs> The foolish delusions of a child, but this child made it happen. As soon as I was able, I left my world and went in search of them. I found them and was accepted. I had been living my dream on Dantooine for several years before you came, although perhaps I was not entirely ready for it, or not completely suited to the task. Otherwise, I would not have fallen. But thanks to you, I have been redeemed. Perhaps I may yet live to see that dream of mine come true. Come, there is much we should do. Let us not waste time talking. Action is what is needed. Nope, no, we're learning more about Juhani. Listen, baby, I only talked to you because uh, the game told me to. Otherwise, I would have just ignored. Because I don't really care what you have to say. Um, well, I guess I do. We're trying to get to know the team a little bit better. Um... What is with these Zerk birds? Oh, hold up. I know what we're going to do. Okay, the last thing we're going to do is we're going to uh, 
look at what weaponry homeboy over here has for sale. And then we're actually going to end today's episode. We might... Uh, but, uh... Uh, what weapons do you have available? Zerka maintains a well-stocked armory that is open to all, to all our valued customers. You may browse it at your leisure. I don't know why I think he's going to have something useful in here. Um, he does have grenades. You know I'm a big grenade fan. And a vibration cell. Uh, but he doesn't have what I need, which is just the greatest sword that's not a lightsaber for our boy to carry. So guys, uh, that is all we have time for today. Today's episode was about getting to know our team just a little bit better. Um, and if you like this video or if you like this series, please share and subscribe it. That does actually a whole lot for us um, here at Super Carlin Brothers and Super Carlin Gaming. So please share, please subscribe. But until next time, this is Peaches McLean signing off.